Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's your girl, Mary Jane. Please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would be greatly appreciated. From the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples, The Challenge, Dirty 30, Season 30, Episode 16, The Sinister Six. Let's get into it. So, we already know who's a shoe in for the finals. We have um, shoe in for the finals is Tori, Jordan, and CT. And Carla Marie, they're shooing, so they're going to go on a little vacation. They're going to go to a nice house and relax and everything like that. And the other people that are left to sneak their way back in challenge, we have Carmilla, we have Derek, we have Hunter, we have um, Kayla, Jenna, and Tony. Mm-hmm. So basically, they're going to try to snake their way back into the challenge. And basically, they're going to be left on a structure 30 feet in the air. And basically, they're going to have to sit inside a rope and kind of like harness and move their self from the blue rope to the yellow rope, I believe. <laughs> the yellow rope is at the end. And basically, it's almost like the monkey bars or whatever. And so they have to scoot up. And then jump into the water. Once they fall into the water, you know they always try not to fall into the water, but they're going to have to fall into the water. And then they're going to have to wrap their rope around um, a, a, um, a booner or a boomer, a bowie, I think. A bowie or something like that, I believe. And then whoever does that first wins. And so we have the guys that start off doing the um, challenge, snaking their way back in the house. We have Derek, Hunter, and Tony. And Derek's biggest worry is losing to a guy with a with a bum arm, a bum hand, and losing to clumsy Tony. And so, you know, Tony doesn't even move. Um, Hunter can't move because of his hands. He has no feelings in his hands. It hurts. Hunter actually takes off his cast. But it's not enough. And it's not enough for Tony and my boy Derek Wynn. So I am happy this episode that Derek did win. So now he will be in the richest final ever in the challenge. So Derek does it again. He amazes me all the time. And then we have Carmilla and Jenna and Kayla. And they begin to do the challenge to snake their way back in. And Jenna doesn't move, <laughs> Kayla doesn't move, Carmilla, the racist lush. She moves fast, furious, and she actually wins the challenge. And everybody down watching, you know, Tori, and, you know, she was like, look to your right. Derek is like, look to your right. See what Carmilla's doing and try to do it. And then they're saying Jenna just looked at Carmilla winning and Tori was like, oh my God, I can't believe they just gave up. And it looked like they did give up. But we don't know how difficult the challenge that challenge was, but they did give up. It was like they was broken. Um, I don't know if they even wanted to go to the finals. <laughs> I don't know. Because it seems like, I guess they didn't want to deal with the aftermath of one of them being alone and have to deal with Carla Marie. I don't know. But it's just like they didn't put that effort in. And so... Carmilla, she wins. You know, they, they they congratulate her. And they was like, you know, everything that we did all season long, how we made some big moves. Same thing Tori said. They made big moves. They did all this stuff. And, you know, and not to finish at the end. But I don't know what happened. So now we know that um, Zach is not going to be calling Jenna anymore because he did call her once doing this challenge or whatever. And she haven't heard from him for like four or five months. And basically he was hoping she was gonna win because he was gonna try to get some of that money because you know jenna she's in love with zach and she probably was gonna give him some coins some dollars so they leave and hunter you know hunter did his best all season i mean he fought all season he lost two of his best friends he lost his girlfriend he bummed out his hand and now he couldn't complete this challenge so he had to give in and actually lose and you know ct was like you know hunter is like he's he, he's he got the challenge rabies <laughs> i was like oh no you have to shimmy your way across the ropes i was like damn jenna damn kayla i was hoping that one of you guys were gonna win so since you guys didn't come through for 
yourself and for other people, I have to go for Tori. So I'm hoping Tori can bring it home. If Tori can't bring it home, well, hopefully Carla Marie can bring it home before Camilla. Hope she doesn't win at all. So the other, they say goodbye to the other guys. They join the house and basically see, um, um, TJ, he comes into the room and he lets them know what's up, what's going on. <laughs> uh, but it was funny when Derek was like, yo, Tony is seven feet tall and he can't get across that rope. No, that was Jordan. Jordan was like, Tony's like seven feet tall and he can't move. He can't shimmer his way around the ropes. He can't get through. So Tony, so it just tells you that Tony shouldn't have been at the end. And he got really, really, really lucky. He really got lucky. And, you know, um, I can't believe Kayla and Jenna, they just gave up. It's just like they didn't have the effort. They didn't, you know, Derek was like, it's called cheating. It's a dirty 30. Look to your right. See what Carmella's doing and do it and do it better. But I guess Carmella wins at the end. So now she feels vindicated. And now so does, you know, um, Carla Marie. She feels vindicated, you know, because they beat Jenna and they beat Kayla to let them know that they're the dogs and they're here to stay and they're the toughest, they're the roughest girls. Uh, I'll, I'll give Carla Marie that, but, you know, Carmella, nah, she's the racist lush. That's how we doing that. <laughs> and so, you know, CT, you, I mean, J, um, JT was like, you know, I mean, TJ, TJ was like, you know, you guys are competing for a million dollars. You guys are the top six. He was like the top six. And he let the guys know. He goes to the house. He talks to him. He's like, hey, come into the foyer. Come into the living room. I got some news to give y'all. And the news is third place gets $15,000 in cash. Second place get 35000 in cash each. And for the winner, they get $450,000. Life changer. And... TJ lets us know that he's not going to be there. Is it because the challenge is so expensive this year that they can't afford to have TJ on the scene, on the set, you know what I mean, to talk? And so hopefully we don't get used to this, that we, we see TJ, for real, for real, because TJ is a fixture in the challenge, in my opinion. And so um, he lets them know that you have to complete the challenge. You can't give up for you to win, for you to get your money. You have to complete each and every challenge. So that means there's probably going to be some eating, some crazy stuff going on where you want to give up. But if you do give up and you say, I give up, I don't want to compete, that means you get nothing. That means this whole season was nothing. All the backstabbing, all the lying it was nothing. But it seems like, you know, I really believe that, you know, Derek played a really good game. So did CT. CT played a good game. Jordan played a good game. But, you know, he got feisty. He was coming after Hunter. He was just relentless on Hunter. But I think that was because of Johnny Bananas. And, um, you know, he, he, he started some trouble with Gemma. And that was about it. And Colin Marie and um, Carmel, I was disappointed in both of them this season. But most disappointed and Carla Marie for being racist and being low down and dirty. And Tori, Tori basically played a good game because she said at the end she did tell, you know, um, Britt that, hey, we're no longer doing this no more together. And Derek played a really good game. CT played a good game. It wasn't, they, you know, they wasn't all that vicious in the game except for Carla Marie and, you know, who? <laughs> Carmilla. Um, Carmilla was really vicious in this game. So, anyways, TJ lets them know that they're going to be going to Salt um, Argentina. I think Salty Argentina, that's where they're going to be going to do their challenge. They get on the plane, and they go, and they out. And then they at the hotel. They finally just got in, and they get a message from TJ to let them know that they're going to start to compete, go back to the airport. You guys are going to be jumping 50 I mean, 20 feet in the air and Jordan was like you know what 20 feet is the highest ever because it's usually only 10 feet so Jordan kind of knows his math and his numbers and he's really studying the game I think he learned a lot from Johnny Bananas and he's being very good at physically in this game so I don't know who's gonna win out of the guys but I really would want um CT and Derek to win you know become number one win or whatever Derek wants to win because he wants to be in the challenge hall of fame ct's already in there 
um, Jordan wants to win because he has a clothing line, but, you know, CT and Derek got children. They want to feed and take care of them. And CT is tired of being a construction worker. So, um, TJ lets them know, get to the airport, and Jordan is making fun of, you know, Carla Marie because she's scared, she's crying, she's nervous. Jordan's talking about all this crazy stuff that if, you know, sometimes, you know, there's accident with parachutes, you know, you don't get killed on the first fall, on the second, on the second bump, you get killed. The first bump, no, but the second bump, that's where people kind of like lose their life. So it's so scary to, um, to jump out of a plane so they're gonna be jumping out of plane ct says well this is the first time i jumped out of a working plane so ct you be jumping out of broken planes what's going on <laughs> so um jordan is teasing you know carla marie about you know heights and jumping out of the plane and all this other stuff it's just like crazy and so now they get ready to jump out the plane. Everybody has a wonderful landing, but the worst landing of all is Jordan. Jordan has an awful landing. So his karma came back to him for teasing Colin Marie and bringing that negativity on himself. So hopefully he, this is not a omen for the, what's going to happen to him in the rest of the season. Um, the rest of, you know, the, the final, the finale or whatever. So hopefully, you know, he don't bring that negative energy and that negative comment towards himself by irking and saying things that he shouldn't be saying and trying to scare people. And, you know, he's not hurt, but he did have a bump. He had a crash dive on the ground from, you know, the parachuting. And I guess he had the worst instructor of the person that was doing the parachuting with him in Argentina. CT has the second worst fall. It looks like his pants had, you know, cuts all in them. His pants was all tore up, looked like buck shots, buck, 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 and his pants or whatever. But everybody else had a good, you know, a good landing. Tori's kind of nervous because she knows that Carla Marie and, you know, Carmilla might team up against her and try to come at her. And they're going to work together because they're best friends. So basically, Tori's the underdog, but... Early in the episode, every the vets was telling Tori that she's the rookie of the year, and she definitely is the rookie of the year. We got to give her her props. I also got to mention, Tori made a phone call home or whatever, but she called her sister and her family. She didn't call her boyfriend. So is the rumors true that she's really dating Jordan? So what's good with that? And so we'll see what happens with that and so you know after they have to jump out of the plane they get to another you know part of the challenge where they get a message from tj and basically they got to find these rocks through these ruins and they got to run through you know this maze then come back down and once they run around this maze or whatever then they have to get to another checkpoint where once they reach that checkpoint um and they have to carry a stone and once they reach that checkpoint whoever's there next to them or whoever they pick as a partner is going to be carrying a bunch of stones i don't know if it's 30 throne stones i think it's 30 thrones and then they have to stones they have to carry the stones through the maze up to another part come back down and carry you know stones or whatever so you know um jordan shows you know Carla marie and I was surprised he didn't choose, you know, Tori, because I thought he was rooting for Tori. But it seems like the vets of the guys don't want the newbie. They want somebody with experience. And everybody said Carla Marie was going to be in that challenge, um, snaking your way back in, because what's going to help her win is her experience. And she can figure out a challenge really quick, and she's really good. And that's what CT said about, you know, Car um, Carmilla, Ugh, the racist lush. So... Um, Derek chose, you know, um, Carla, he chose her. And so CT had no other choice but to pick Tori. And so right now CT and Tori is doing good, but CT did have some complaints by running back and forth before they got to the stone challenge. We're picking a partner that, um, you know, he says it's going to be hard on his breathing because the air is really, I guess my new or the, the air is really light up there. So, um, he's already having trouble breathing. Jordan is trying to work out his knee cause his knee hurts. He got into the ambulance and everything like that, but he's still a G he's still trying to do his thing and run through this maze. with carrying them heavy stones. I don't even know how much them stone weighs. Them stones look heavy than a mother sucker. So anyway, CT starts off with four. Um, Derek starts off with three. Jordan starts off with three. CT's carrying four to three. The girls are carrying two, I believe, or maybe one. 
Um, and so everyone's doing good so far, but you know, at the first, the first round, you know, CT and Tori had 24, Jordan and Carmilla and, and Carla, um, Jordan and Carla and Carmilla had 21 and, um, and who else? And Derek and, and Carla had, Derek and Carla had 21. No, Derek and Carla, <laughs> I, I think they had 24. Oh, they had 21. And Jordan and, and Carmilla had 20, 21. And CT had 24. So, um, CT and Tori was winning in the beginning. And then, when they, we, when they checked again the screen, it was, you know, no, Derek and, and, and Carla had 21. CT and Tori had 24. Jordan and Camilla had 21. Then the second time around, um, Derek and, and Carla had 25. CT and Tori had 24. And Jordan and Carmilla had has 25. So basically now CT is behind. And then also C, CT stops because his back is hurting. And then the uh, CT also realized that um, Jordan and Carmilla are doing really good and they're moving really fast because Jordan is carrying two rocks at a time or whatever, sometimes three, but they found a shortcut and Jordan said him and Carmilla fell out, found a shortcut through this maze because there's so many different ways you can go, you can leave, you know, the area where you have to throw the stones at to get back to the other stones. So I found a shortcut. So he is thinking smart and CT says, think smart don't work hard <laughs> don't work harder so it seems like it's going to be a very difficult challenge and it ain't gonna be no joke so what do you guys think this shit was crazy 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 them jumping out of the plane was crazy them carrying them rocks and ct stopped because his back is hurting tori's like oh my god ct is the most out of shape person here he's this he's that and she's like, I never seen him run before. And now you have Carla talking about she wish she had Jordan as as a partner, even though they don't get along. So this is gonna be crazy when Jordan and um, Carla teams up, or Derek and Carmilla teams up, or Tori teams up with Jordan or Derek, or CT teams up with Carla or, or Car um, Carmilla. So it seems like it's gonna be some cra it's gonna be some craziness going on. But Tori knows that she's the underdog in this challenge, and it seems like the vets don't really want to pick her because she's a newbie and she's not experienced. But we'll see what happens. She has proven herself to be good. So peace. I'm out. One love. Please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peace, my peoples. I can't believe it. I can't believe Jenna and, you know, Kayla just gave up at the end. Peace.